Hello everyone, it looks like we are live. Let me center the radar here. This is meteorologist Andrew Panero with another weather podcast this week. So we had a pretty mild day today. It started a little bit rough with some showers and some clouds, but then it became very nice temperatures in the 50s to the 60s, uh, low 60s, but still I'll take it. And by the afternoon, it was very sunny. It's not too bad right now either. It's about 55 degrees outside. Depending exactly where you are, I'll just say, I'll call it the 50s right now, but it's gonna be changing. We do have winter definitely coming back and we'll talk a little bit more about that. So I do wanna show you on the radar here, nothing too much out here. High pressure will be moving its way in overnight tonight into tomorrow, but with that high pressure, we will be seeing some very breezy conditions on the middle of the country in the radar here, it's really pretty blank because that's what that dome of high pressure is. And we're gonna be seeing this clear air making its way in, but very breezy. We could see 10 to 20 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. So definitely be careful, especially over bridges or any high profile vehicles for your day tomorrow. Then it's gonna to start to change for Friday or more specifically Thursday night going into Friday morning. So I do wanna pull up on the very, very northwest corner of the US. We do have this little pulse of moisture. This is gonna be one of the contributing factors for your day on Friday. So what's it gonna look like? Well, a little bit of snow. So this particular forecast model is the GFS. The GFS is showing, again, this is Thursday, these isobars, those black lines, they're very, very tightly packed together. So that means it will be very breezy. Again, be very careful with those breezy conditions. But then when we fast forward, going into Thursday night now, this is about 1 a.m. on Friday morning. And look at this, that blue means a little bit of snow, green a little bit with rain and that freezing line is pretty much right over us so if there is any kind of snow it'll be that very wet heavy snow very nuisance so be careful if you are shoveling any of it and may some areas may see a little bit of shovelable if that's even a word shovelable snow for your, later on the day on friday when i fast forward on this a little bit more notice the line here with the freezing point so this is now going into Friday afternoon. The cold has pretty much come down and it's gonna be all below freezing by the time we get to the afternoon. But the most intense part of this definitely looks like Friday morning. This is about seven or eight in the morning where we're seeing maybe a little bit more action for intensity of snow, but that freezing line is still over the area. So maybe a little bit of a mix. We'll definitely keep you updated as Friday approaches a bit more. So now when I switch this from the radar view into total snowfall, by the time we get to Friday afternoon when all is pretty much said and done, this GFS model is showing, let me zoom down a little bit, there we go. This GFS model is showing just barely getting into the purple. And on the scale here, we can see the purple at that right around four inch mark. And most of the area is gonna be just barely getting into there. Some light blues, which is the one inch going up to about that just barely purple, four inch. So overall, I'm gonna call it about one to three inches that we could see by the afternoon on Friday, depending on exactly the, the road conditions or how well they're treated with salt or any of that brine spray that they use on the roads. We could see not as much on roadways, but sidewalks, definitely be careful. Could be a little bit slippery as well. Definitely bundle up too with the cold temperatures and cold air that's gonna be making its way through. I'm going to switch this now to a different model. The model I'm going to pull up is something called the R-GEM. So by the afternoon, this is about as far out as this forecast model goes, showing roughly the same thing. Blue just barely getting into the purple, and that is getting the purple just right around that four inch mark. And that's more so in the northern Hudson Valley, say Orange, Sullivan, Ulster County, a little bit north there that's where we could see some of those higher ends of that one to three inch range. And most of the models are kind of agreeing on that. So now I'm gonna switch this to the NAM. And the NAM is showing roughly the same idea, 
but it's a little bit less and a bit more general. This is showing all in the light blue to the uh, dark blue, which is about one inch, to light blue, which is about three inches there. That's kind of what I'm going for, and I'm leaning more towards the NAM on this particular model. And it's showing one to three inches overall we could expect by the time we're set and done for your day on Friday. Friday's not gonna be as breezy, but it's still gonna have this bit of a winter return. Jack Frost does not wanna make this way out and definitely wants to remind us that we are in the area, or he is in the area for us. Now I'm gonna switch this from the total snowfall just to the rain, uh, radar, the forecasted radar. And there we go, we see by the afternoon most of this is out of the area. And it looks like it's going to be showing roughly the same thing. It's just a very, very narrow band here of the precipitation. And you can see right there the freezing line. That's just right over us. So anything close to the freezing line will be showing that kind of wintry mix that's possible. Or if it's snow, it'll be that very heavy snow. And then as far out as the NAM goes, this is showing Saturday night. So Saturday for your day is definitely going to be breezy. Again, here's those isobars there. They are getting very close together. So very breezy, but not really anything in terms of the way of precipitation. Just be mindful of the breeze if you're driving around anywhere, anywhere over bridges, hide vehicles. But then Sunday when I fast forward uh, oh, the NAM, that's about as far out as it goes. So now I'm going to switch back to the GFS. So this is showing also Saturday night to Sunday. Sunday, those isobars, they're a bit more spread out. So that means it's not gonna be as breezy. I'm still gonna call it partly sunny, but it's gonna be cold. And I'll show you temperatures coming up in the seven day in just a bit, but we have one more thing to talk about. In the early part of the week, there is what looks like a coastal storm making its way up. And I wanna show you that here. So this is going Monday night into Tuesday. So on your day for Tuesday, this is some pretty intense precipitation. At this part of the storm, it's warm because remember, low pressure centers in the northern hemisphere rotate counterclockwise. So we're going to see it pulling moisture in from the south. That's why this part, say right here where my fist is, that's where the low pressure center is. It's going to be pulling around it, the warm air, but then by the time it gets north and starts coming back down, that's going to pull in the cool air. That's why it looks like a bit more west. We're seeing this kind of split between the snow and then the rain. Another term that meteorologists use is something called the 70-40 benchmark. That's basically the longitude and latitude of where we see kind of the best case scenario for snow. That line kind of goes right through about here, the 70-40 benchmark. So if the center of the low pressure is right on there, that's kind of the balance for the most snow to hit the kind of New York City tri-state area, Lower Hudson Valley, North New Jersey, and Long Island. Right now, this is showing, I guess, a little bit to the west. So if it heads more west, that'll be pulling in again around the counterclockwise rotation, some more warm air so we won't see as much snow. If this center of the, low of the low pressure moves a bit more east, we will be seeing more cold air because it's going to be circulating around, bringing down the cold air. But because the bulk, you can see the bulk of the precipitation there, that will be moving more offshore so we won't see as much in terms of precipitation. So this is going to be a very dynamic system. I'm very interested in it, but I'll definitely keep you updated as that day approaches. Over the weekend, I'll have more coverage on this approaching coastal storm. Some of the different forecast models are showing different things, but for right now, I'm going to just err on the edge of caution and say it looks like we're going to be getting, I'd say maybe like 50, 60% at the moment, not too high in confidence at the moment for this coastal storm. And not giving any totals because it's way too uncertain at the moment to determine that. So I want to take a look at the seven day forecast again for Thursday. It's going to be very breezy, but not really anything in terms of precipitation. For Friday, this is when the temperature starts to tumble, about 40 degrees. In the morning, that's when we're going to see some of those snow showers. Again, about one to three inches is what I'm saying. 
Overnight Friday, look at that low, 18 degrees, and then Saturday's high, I'm saying it's going to be below freezing, 28 degrees. Again, it's going to be bitterly, uh, bitterly cold, partly sunny, however, breezy, and it looked like on those ISO bars because they were getting very close. I'd say 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, so strong winds, cold temperature means very bitterly cold conditions that we're going to see for your day on Saturday. Also remember, Saturday night into Sunday, daylight savings time starts, so we're going to be seeing a loss of an hour going in overnight, but the sun will be setting a little bit later in the day on Sunday and beyond that. So by about 7 p.m., we can see the sun setting on Sunday. Still cold, high of about 33 degrees, and remember, spring ahead, Sunday night, still cold, Saturday night and Sunday night, 15, 16 degrees there. Monday, about 35 degrees, partly sunny overall, and that snow with that coastal low does start to make its way in Sunday night into Tuesday. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that as that day approaches. Beyond that, Wednesday, looks like it's about 35 degrees, but some lingering energy in the area, so maybe some flurries, possibly some light snow showers. I'll definitely keep you updated as that system approaches because, again, it's very dynamic and not everything is in agreement at the moment. So this is meteorologist Andrew Pinero with another, with another weather podcast here. If you, def if you like this kind of green screen situation I'm doing with the weather podcast, leave comments, subscribe, and I'll keep everybody updated on the rest of the winter. Remember, if March enters like a line, it could leave like a lamb. We'll see if that comes true within the next couple of weeks or so. Have a good evening, everybody. And remember, Saturday night to Sunday, spring ahead.